Uh, and we, uh, you know, when I'm here uh, working with the Chabad, I meet a lot of people, a lot of heroes. Uh, people you've seen tonight, and I'm going to introduce you to another one. Our friend Jaime is an everyday hero. He knows what it's like to hit rock bottom, and he knows what it's like to climb back up. And at the Chabad Residential S Treatment Center, he got a second chance, and now he's dedicated his life to helping others recover their lives. Meet Jaime. My name is Jaime. I'm an addict and alcoholic, and I work for Chabad. About 16 years ago. A guy brought me over here to just to see if they, they can help me to talk to a rabbi or something to do with my addiction. I was still using uh, crack cocaine and heroin and methadone and at that time I was still homeless living underneath the boardwalk. I used to sleep with my needles. I used to sleep with my pipe in my mouth. I know what it is, man. You couldn't take it away for anything. And Chabad was the first people, you know, gave me a nice Thanksgiving. I, I remember that so clear, wow. Whew. When I was living in a cardboard box in, uh, in Brooklyn and somebody came over to me and said, let me help you. And since then I've been helping others. I'm here every day, seven days a week, I don't rest. I work here seven days a week, and I love it. I mean, that's my life here. It's amazing to have that kind of energy by giving back, by giving up your life to another life, and you get power and energy to continue your life. And that's the most very, very important for you to understand that you have a disease that there's no known cure. Learn! Learn, this disease is a killer disease. This disease is the killer. It will kill you from nowhere, thinking I'm doing okay. No, you're not. But how do you stop? How do you stop this mind from not picking up another hit or another drug? I have a lot of young kids. I have guys five years, seven years, 10 years. I have even guys 14 years clean. They were in my groups, and they're clean today. Very happy what I'm doing. I came from a car box, so I'm great. And here, ladies and gentlemen, with us tonight is Jaime. And Jaime, congratulations. Listen, if I was w watching this video, first of all, I have to say, you have such a wonderful presence on camera. I think you should be an actor. <laughs> We'll talk about that later. But uh, really, you must be very effective, and your work is saving lives. And I, I, you know, we're all in awe of you, really, and what you've done with your life. Yeah, uh, I really want to thank Chabad for helping me for the last 16 years, you know, and uh, I'm very, very grateful. You know, without Chabad, I would not be here. They helped me, they helped my wife, and it's called Chabad. And uh, they really helped me. I'm there as a counselor, and uh, you know, a lot of people, you're out there, please, I beg of you. You know, it takes a lot of work to help another addict and alcoholic. Please, send some money that will help another addict or alcoholic. Please, I beg of you. It takes a lot of work and another effort, but without you guys out there to help Chabad, we're not gonna make it. Please. Thanks, Thank Jaime, you. very much for being here and inspiring us all. And folks, you heard him. So now I want to turn it over to Marshall Grossman. John, John, I, I have to say that when I saw this clip last week in my office, it, it brought home to me what Chabad is all about. Because unlike some other organizations that do wonderful work, Chabad's work is done on the street. It's done for people, men, women, and kids who have no other door to knock on. And when you told your story, which I had not heard before just now, that when you were down and out and needed help, you called Chabad, that's where a lot of people call. And it's not just somebody else that calls. There isn't a family that I know that has not been touched one way or another by the disease of alcoholism or the problem of drug addiction. 
It's not somebody else's problem. It's our problem. It's Chabad's issue. We have a wonderful drug rehabilitation center, and Jaime is a living example. And I emphasize the word living example. 